If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. The key to solving this question was to note that the three rods can be treated as point masses if we assume that all of their mass can be concentrated at their center of masses. In other words, instead of looking at this vertical rod as an entire object that runs vertically, we can just imagine it to be a point mass located right in its geometrical center. We'll do that for all three rods. Now when we do that, we can locate the coordinate of those three points. You'll notice there's a superimposed y and x axes. So for this first point right here, the coordinates would be 0, comma, negative l divided by 2. For this point here, the coordinates would be l divided by 2, comma, 0. And then for this point over here, we would have coordinates l, comma, negative l divided by 2. So now that we've labeled those coordinates, we can go ahead and look at the equation for the x-coordinate of the center of mass for part A. Now when using this equation we can label the rods 1, 2, and 3 just to keep uh, track of the different values that are being plugged into the equation. Notice that we're plugging in the x-coordinate of these three centers of mass of the rods and then also their respective masses. So for example for the first rod that we've labeled 1 we know that its mass was 14 grams and then the x-coordinate of its center of mass was the 0. So we can plug that in. For mass 2, we were told that its mass was 42 grams. And then the x-coordinate for its center of mass was L divided by 2. Now we know L is 22 centimeters, so maybe rather than writing L divided by 2, we can write 22 centimeters divided by 2. And then for the third rod, we know its mass was 14 grams. And then the x-coordinate of its center of mass was just L, so 22 centimeters. We can plug that in. And then on the bottom, we'll just sum all the masses together. And when you crunch all this down, you should get approximately, in fact exactly, 11 centimeters. So this would be the correct answer to part A. For part B, to solve for the y-coordinate of the center of mass, we're going to use this similar setup. Instead, though, we're going to be plugging in the y-coordinates for the three centers of mass of those rods. So we'll go ahead and plug in the masses and the y-coordinates for the three rods. So there are the values plugged in. Make sure you pause the video and just understand where each number is coming from. Once you crunch that down on your calculator, you should get negative 4.4 centimeters. So this would be the y-coordinate of the center of mass of this system. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel. Remember that you can stay tuned for additional videos and also send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.